the Germans say the honeybees, unlike other animals, came directly from paradise. And visionary beekeeper Ron Breland thinks it's high time we find something better than a Langstroth file cabinet to house these pint-sized divinities. I got to meet sweet Ron in September 09, and here's just some of the sweetness he laid on me. Notice his bee houses, part brand Kusi, part sacred geometry, and all very cool. called Phenomenon, uh -huh. and it's a, a story of a guy who, uh, John Travolta. Well, mm -hmm. in Phenomenon, he has certain uh, psychokinetic powers. He can make things move by just the force of his mind. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the movie, the townspeople become very upset about that. They think he's some kind of a magician or something, you know? And he says, that, no, it's much more simpler. Mm -hmm. It's much simpler than that. He said, there's an aspen grove in Colorado that's 30 miles long, and they've discovered that the root system is common to all the trees. And he said, everything is connected. So the question is to get related in the right way. Okay. So he then takes his finger, and there's a pen lying on the picnic table, and the pen sort of goes up and starts doing swiveling around. Mm -hmm. And everybody sort of, everybody, They say, how do you make it do that? And he says, I don't make it do anything. I ask it. At the moment, beekeeping is making them do things. And if, and if you insist on that kind of a relationship, that's a relationship you get. But if you're willing to, uh, if you're willing to have a different kind of relationship, you get a different kind of relationship. I mean, if you want to make them do things, you have to put the gloves and the veil on and go out there like Darth Vader. Okay? Yeah. If you have, you know, a, a more sensitive, intuitive relationship, you don't have to always do that. Let's just see. We can get this off without tearing this off. Now, I let them build their combs the way they want to. Mm, you know, in the modern wonderful. beehive, uh -huh. even in some of the uh, some of the uh, the uh, alternative hives, like the Kenya hive, mm -hmm. they f they force them to build their combs on on what they call top bars. Yes, top bar and that's a step in the right direction. But I think some people need to uh, to uh, let them build them according to their own needs. And there's a big debate about what constitutes the proper cell size and how they should configure everything. I say let the bees do that, you know? Bees know what to do. Perfect, exactly. They'll mm -hmm. make... So you put uh, no scaffolding down at all, you just create the... No, that's where I am. I used to... open space. Yeah, I used to put top Hello, bars darlings. In. Thank you for letting us film you. This hive is chock-a-block with honey. Look at all you Now they're you up in the upper portion here. Good girls. Uh -huh. And and usually like toward the bottom I've had the um, 
the brood. It, yeah, it, now I think what's there, happening think here is the that they've moved upwards and the brood nest is probably sitting in here somewhere. Oh, wow. Look at this. Uh huh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. Mm. Mm. How beautiful. Mm. Wow, it tastes it tastes the best honey. It's the best I've ever had. It's a little nibble. Mm. Mm. So how delicious. old is this um This is hive this was hive. created yeah. a year ago this spring. Wow, so, so in just one year? Yeah yeah. That's amazing. Now these hives started out as prototypes and it's it's my intention one of these days to put this together with Japanese joinery. Well, that was amazing. I've never seen bees so unreactive to somebody yeah. who opened up their comb. Now, I teach organic gardening not far away mm -hmm. in a private school, and uh, we have the children right up. I'm firmly convinced that, that in this low impact kind of beekeeping, they're much more laid back. In Steiner's lectures, he said the bees are, are love incarnate, you know. Mm -hmm. Where does this aggression come from? You know, we've driven them down into the matter, you know, instead of looking for ways to lighten their existence so that they can do what they came here to do. We've enslaved them and, and demanded that they produce for profit, you know. Whereas, in fact, as we know on some very simple level, they go out in the world and they fructify everything. You know, they just pollinate and, uh, and uh, there's a whole magic process that goes on with that. You know. So some people need to keep bees so they can, they can engage in those kinds of activities, not simply produce honey and pollinate almonds in California. You know. Yeah, exactly. It civilizes me. That's what I find. It's sort of it, that, that gentleness and that... Uh, carefulness that you need when you're dealing with like 240,000 teeny little hands and 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 legs, yeah, yeah. you know, and it it just makes moving in their realm so much more sophisticated than anything else I can do. And when you really want to love each of those little legs and arms, you find yourself lifted in in this in this wonderful state of consciousness and and carefulness and gentleness. Which I think is just what human beings need to get better at. Setting up the circumstance for for a higher consciousness. Yeah. So you can use smoke to drive bees to do your bidding, but I would say that's a misapplication. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not a misapplication, but only one of its applications. It's a different intent if you think of it as trying to fool them as opposed to trying to honor them. That's right. You know, such a different spirit. And stuff. Oh, look at them. So this is a straw skep. Beautiful. Now, mm -hmm. down below is one of these the other way with the opening down, mm -hmm. and then in the very bottom is another one upside down like this. Okay. Uh. So what you see is an oval, and where we're headed is another oval, mm -hmm. and then next year another oval. Uh -huh. And that will be a recapitulation of the body of the bee. This will be the abdomen, this will be the thorax, and that will be the head. That's where we tried to go on the big one. Uh. That the hive the configuration of the hive is a reduplication of the body of the bee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now yeah. I don't know whether that's appropriate or not, but I wait for them to tell me. Mm 